you know, they just were a surprise and they were never um, planned. And, and then when me and my husband decided that we wanted to have a third child, things just didn't go the way that we planned. Um, they just, it, it's taken longer than what we expected. And I know that there's couples out there that it takes years and I am so sorry, I really am. And I feel for you so much because even just waiting the six months that it's taken us to get pregnant, um, it's been, it's been difficult. And I don't really, I give props to all the women that just keep fighting through because I was losing hope. Oh, to be that naive little girl that had no idea what infertility was really like. We are going on three years trying. Three years. Um, and multiple losses in between. Very early losses, though. My body just implants the embryo and then basically rejects them. Um, also, let's talk about how different I look back then. Holy crap. But yeah, May 26 will be three years since my husband had his reversal. Um, and we started trying to conceive. We have done multiple medicated cycles, one IUI and one failed IVF transfer with a PGT a tested embryo. We are still at square one. I am I am 10 DPO today and more than likely about to stare at another negative. I've had laparoscopic surgery. Um, I did down regulation for adamiosis and I still don't have a baby in my arms. And um, I really have gotten to that point that I talked about in the video about people that try for such a long time of losing hope. Just to be that naive. I had no idea what it was like. And now I do. And I wish I never did. I wish God never put the desire to have a fourth child on my heart and I probably wouldn't be in this situation. I'm not ready to give up quite yet. Because I have been able to get pregnant, I just for some reason can't stay that way. My next step is to see a reproductive immunologist. Hopefully before the end of this year. But this has all just been a nightmare that I'd like to wake up from. And I watch that video back all the time and think about what that felt like. To have hope. What that felt like to see that positive and it not go away. I'm going to look at my 10 DPO test. This is the fourth one today, but hey, who's counting? Um, just to make sure because according to that video, Sometime on 10 DPO, I never clarified when, I got a faint line on a test. And then the next morning is when I got my true big fat positive. Well, I hold on to hope every 10 DPO that maybe it'll be the time that it happens for me. I've had a lot of false positives or I've had a lot of indent lines that have been very convincing. I've also had multiple losses. It's hard to get excited about a line anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and look. I don't expect much um, because this morning's was nothing. So tomorrow's my last day of testing and then honestly I should be getting my period. Now that hasn't changed much. Let's do this. Feel like I see something but I have the worst and I mean the worst line eyes so more than likely there's nothing there honestly I'm at the point with testing is if it's not an obvious line it's not real after three years of this that's kind
kind of how you have to be. Even early on, I don't care. Unless it's like a big fat positive and there's no denying that there's a line, I don't sit there and stare at tests anymore. Because I will convince myself there's something there. But I really don't think that there is. Tomorrow is my last day to maybe get a positive, but I do think that my period is coming because um, my basal body temperature with my aura ring dropped below the baseline today at 10 days past ovulation, and that would line up perfectly with when your progesterone in my body should drop off before my period. So even though my proved tests this morning, which are PGT, PG, PDG test, they test for progesterone, was still positive this morning, but it doesn't mean anything. I'm learning that too. I'm just documenting at this point. I would have never imagined in 2014 that I'd ever be in this situation. I really do hope one day I finally get my rainbow baby, but I really am starting to lose hope that that's going to be our reality.